USDA Watershed Lag Time Project, POSIS and Water Sample Retrieval and Shipment Training. The following training video is not a replacement for reading the SOPs, but a complement to them. POSIS Retrieval and Water Sample Training. Retrieving a deployed POSIS. First, remove the POSIS cage from the water. Be aware of your surroundings and take appropriate safety measures, whether in a forest or on the road. Place the retrieved cage on a stable, level surface. Open the cage by cutting the zip tie that secures the top and unscrewing the top. Remove the sample holder. Detach the sampler by removing the hex nuts and bolts that secure the disc to the holder. Be careful not to loosen the bolts that hold the metal rings of the sampler together. Only handle the sampler by the metal ring and take care using tools near the sampler that you don't puncture the membrane. Finding the right way to hold the wrenches may take some practice. Placing hardware in the cage lid is a good way to not lose anything. Remember to only hold the sampler by the metal ring. Wrap the disc in a clean piece of aluminum foil, taking care to not damage the membrane. Label the sample with the collection site and date. Place the wrapped disc in a plastic zip-top bag, again taking care not to puncture the membrane. Place the bag in a cooler with bagged ice or ice packs for transport back to the lab. Pack carefully to make sure no ice or other samples might puncture the membrane. Now reverse the steps to deploy a new sampler. Unwrap the new disc. Remember to only hold the metal rings. Attach the disc to the sample holder with the hex nuts and bolts. Make sure they're tight. Place the sample holder in the cage. Screw on the cage top. And secure the top with a zip tie. Redeploy the cage into the water. Taking a water sample. Be aware of your environment and take any necessary precautions. Gloves are required PPE. Gather water and rinse out the collection bucket.
gather a new bucket of water for the sample. Unwrap your syringe and fill it from the bucket. Empty and refill the syringe several times before collecting your sample. Unwrap a filter and attach it to the head of the full syringe. Let a few drops out before filling the sample bottle. You may need to use multiple filters. Label the sample with the collection site and date. Empty any remaining water from your syringe and dump out the bucket. Pack up your trash. Place the sample in a cooler with bagged ice or ice packs for transport back to the lab. Record information about the collection. While in the field, complete these areas of the chain of custody form. The names of the people sampling, the site ID and sample name, the deployment date and time of the POSIS disk being collected, the date and time the POSIS disk was collected, any important notes such as water level or recent storm events. For the water sample, write the site ID and sample name, and the collection date and time. Also fill in the information for the filtering date and time, and notes such as tannin levels or sediment load. Packing the POSIS disk and water sample. Use a styrofoam cooler and shipping box. Be sure to use plenty of ice packs to keep the disc cold. Do not use bags of ice cubes that could break and leak. Safely pack the frozen disc among the ice packs so as not to puncture the membrane. Bubble wrap may be helpful. Don't forget the water sample. The contents of the cooler must be secure. Add extra packing material to ensure the disc will not rattle in transit. Close the styrofoam cooler. Include a copy of the chain of custody form. Remember to fill out the top with the packer's name and shipping date. Securely seal the box and ship it. The preceding training video was not a replacement for reading the SOPs, but a complement to them.